Learn how thousands of people are hearing the life-changing message of Jesus Christ on air, online, and on the ground. Get all the latest news here on the FEBC Report with FEBC Philippines Chief Operations Officer Luis Miguel Castillo. FEBC joins over 20,000 radio stations around the world in celebration of World Radio Day. February 13 is the International Day proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2011, with one goal, to highlight the impact of radio on communities and individuals worldwide. Hi, I'm Luis Miguel Castillo, CEO of FEBC Philippines. Join us as we celebrate World Radio Day here on the FEBC Report. This year, the 12th edition theme of World Radio Day is all about radio and peace. The United Nations Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, emphasizes the role that radio can play in moderating conflict and bringing reconciliation. According to UNESCO, relevant programs and independent news reporting provide the foundation for a sustainable democracy and good governance. To count against the prevalence of clickbaits and fake news, that aim to spread misinformation. Radio stations can be trusted to gather and communicate information straight from credible sources and in the fastest time possible. In times of distress, such as wars, recessions, and pandemics, radio has a proven history of bringing not only crucial information, but also a sense of solidarity, comfort, and hope through the music and messages they broadcast. Radio stations also give people a platform to start peace-building initiatives centered on interpersonal, social, and political connections across racial, religious, national, and cultural borders. This too is what we have been sharing in the broadcast of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines. And we feel humbled to be channels to proclaim the message of God's peace to everyone. Which is why we endeavor to maximize this gracious gift to bring peace beyond words, but with our actions. Let me share with you how radio plays a role in times of conflict. Back in 2017, the Lord used 1197 DXFE, the Good News Radio, as a light during the dark time of the Marawi siege. The station in Davao was instrumental in bringing necessities like food and water to the soldiers at the battlefront, as well as the bakwits or evacuees. When the war ended, the city was left in ruins and around 50,000 residents had no place to start. To help alleviate the situation of the Bakwits, 1197 DXFE Davao Good News Radio raised funds for 22 sewing machines, which they turned over to a delegation of Muslim women at the evacuation center in 2018. A year later, DXFE helped build the Peace Center in Emi Punud, one of the evacuation centers in Marawi City. A joint venture with the National Council for Muslim Filipinos, the center provides a venue for psychosocial and livelihood activities for the internally displaced persons, or IDPs. It was officially opened on January 30, 2019. According to the XFE station manager, Magnolia Irswegi, the story behind the name of the center is that we serve the Prince of Peace. It is meant to be a place of peace between Christians and Muslims. More recently, FEBC workers in Ukraine and Russia continue to serve despite the challenging situation. In Ukraine, broadcasters boldly share the message of hope in Christ to allay people's fears. At the same time, the team in Russia produces short videos teaching people how to pray. These videos have garnered millions of views and are sparking interest among people who have never heard the gospel before. We have stories of how the Lord has brought peace to our listeners at the right place and circumstance. Let's listen. I've been listening to this station since I was in elementary. I think I'm in grade 4 that time, and now I'm in grade 12. My lips can't explain how helpful it is in my life. You know what, DJ? There was a time when I felt really down. I thought that my life is meaningless and worthless, and I blamed God why this happened to me. 
And to cut the story short, this broadcast literally changed my life. It always reminds me that no matter what you're going through, no matter what happens, and no matter what you're facing, God is always there. God is not deaf and blind. He always sees everything, and He always hears our prayers. God is not far from us. The words of God I hear from 1143 DZM are, brings the relief in my life. Whenever I am going through trials, His words bring comfort and peace in my heart. I love listening to our Kalamuya pastor. I was so blessed when I first heard his program, even though I cannot fully understand. It is God who is giving me the understanding I need. The Apostle Paul, in his final message to the Philippians, said this, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May this message stay with you as we praise God for radio on this World Radio Day. Thank you for tuning in today. This is Luis Castillo for the FABC Report. God bless you. You just heard the FABC Report. To view this story online, subscribe now to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook at FABCPH. For ways to support the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, go to our website, febc.ph slash give. Thank you for your partnership in the ministry, and may God richly bless you.